Next, we will look at the engine of neural networks, which is basically gradient-based optimization. A very simple neural network, say something like a linear regression model, will be take my input, perform dot product with the weights, and then add biases to them, and then perform ReLU and produce the output. Initially, these weight matrices, that is the values in this vector W, are filled with small random values, a step called random initialization. And um, training is a gradual adjustment of the weights such that we keep updating the weight so that the output matches the actual output, actual output. So a training loop, now this is the most important part here, the training loop, what we mean by training in neural network, consists of the following. Say we want to classify, let's say we have pictures like these, right? Let's say we have a database of pictures, a lot of pictures. And let's say some of them are the pictures of a dog, which I say represent by one. And the others are pictures of a cat, which I represent by a zero, let's say. The first step is to draw a batch of training samples X and the corresponding targets Y. So I can randomly sample, let's say one, two, three, four examples, right? Which I consider as X and uh, the corresponding targets as Y. So in this case, Y will be one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. What this means is my first example is a dog second example is a cat, third example is a cat, and fourth example is a dog again. So I have my X and I have my Y. Run the network on X to obtain predictions Y pred. This is forward pass. So what I'm going to do is this X is my input data. I'm going to send it to the model, perform this, and obtain my output. So this output is Y underscore pred. So I get my Y pred. Compute the loss of the network on the batch, the measure of mismatch between Y pred and Y. So my Y is the true output and my Y pred is the predicted output. So Y is true and Y pred is prediction, right? I calculate the loss. I can calculate accuracy, precision, any other thing. Basically, look at how many of the predictions are correct by looking at Y true. Then I get the loss. Next, we compute the gradient of the loss with regard to the network's parameters. Now, this is a backward pass. So, basically, what we want to do is calculate how bad the loss is. When we say gradient of the loss, what we mean is, say... This is my loss curve or loss surface and say this is what the loss we got. The gradient tells us how deep to go or how, how much we should move so that we can eventually get to the minimum loss possible. Now, we simply want to, the point of calculating gradient of the loss is so that we can update the weights. So now we, next we update the weights my weight vector. Now remember the time when we used the weights W was to obtain the predictions Y pred because that's what we used to multiply the input. Then we have some constant step. Let's say this is some constant like 0 0.1 or 0 0.01, etc. And then we multiply this by the gradient and we subtract that from the weights so that our weights are updated. In other words, the weights W, this, this weight matrix W, gets updated based on, based on how good our predictions are, our predictions are. If Y pred is already very good, then uh, W does not need to be updated so much. But if Y pred is bad, then W needs to be updated by a large margin. So we repeat this cycle again. Next time we randomly sample four or five examples again, and then we repeat this over and over again until our W stabilizes. W 
stabilizes.